Hey everyone, in this lecture, we are diving into the fascinating world of recursive and non-recursive systems. Okay, let's start with recursive systems. Fine. So, these are systems where the output at a given time, let's call it y of n, depends not only on the present and past inputs, but also on any number of past output values. In other world, it's all about the history. Fine. So, what is the definition for recursive system? So, recursive system is defined as a system where the output at a given time, denoted as y of n, is dependent not only on the present and past input, but also on any number of past output values. Okay, what do you mean by past output values? So basically if you see y of n minus 1, y of n minus 2, okay, y of n minus 3 and so on, these are basically what? Past outputs, past outputs okay hope it is clear to you so for recursive system the output y of n is equal to what so for recursive system y of n is basically function of what y of n minus 1 y of n minus 2 up to y of n minus capital n and x of n comma x of n minus 1 going till x of n minus m fine so from this you can conclude like here the output y of n depends upon what if you see this what is this present input these terms are what these are past inputs and these terms are what? These are basically past output values. Fine. So, hope it is pretty much clear to you. Fine. So, on the other hand, non-recursive systems are bit different. Okay. In these systems, the output at a given time, y of n, is solely determined by the present and past inputs no need to look back at the previous output values here okay we are not required to look back for a previous output values so here the output is solely dependent on the present and past inputs fine this is what a non-recursive system so let's see for non-recursive system, the output y of n is given as, we already know, it depends upon the present and past input. So, it is equal to a function of x of n and the past inputs, right? So, x of n minus 1, x of n minus 2, it will go till x of n minus m. Hope it is clear to you. Looks good, right? Fine. Now, let's move further. So, now when it comes to computing the output of the recursive system, things get a little more complex. For example, in order to calculate y of n naught, right? we have to compute all the previous values of y. So basically from y of 1 to what? y of n naught minus 1. So this should be computed or calculated first then only you can calculate y of n naught. In case of which system? Recursive system. Okay. So it's like building a puzzle one piece at a time clear fine 
now let's move further now let's switch gears and talk about non recursive systems so these systems are a bit more straightforward so when we want to compute y of n not we don't need to bother with any previous output values like y not uh, y of n not minus 1 or y of n not minus 2 we are not required to bother about that previous output values we can focus solely on the present and past inputs it's like a breath of fresh air okay so in a simple way you can say like in an in a non recursive system y of n not can be computed without calculating y of n not minus 1 or y of n not minus 2 means the past outputs it is not required to calculate hope it is clear to you fine so is there any doubt no right fine one more thing let's cover one more thing so if you see here in the case of a recursive system so the output samples of a recursive system must be computed in order so starting from y of 0 then calculate y of 1 then calculate y of 2 so you have to calculate in proper order in the case of a recursive system because why because recursive system depends upon the past output values also that is the reason but that is not the case in the non recursive system am i right that is why the output sample of non recursive system can be computed in any order if you want you can calculate y of 50 first or if you want you can calculate y of 2 first or y of 3 first we are not bother about this things okay so you can compute in any order because non recursive system output suppose y of n is not dependent upon the past output values it only depends on the present and the past inputs hope it is clear to you fine now let's move further so iir systems are recursive while fir systems are non recursive okay so what is the meaning of iir we will see this in detail everything don't worry iir means impulse sorry first i this i means infinite infinite okay duration infinite duration impulse response impulse response okay so iir systems means infinite duration impulse response systems so these are what recursive on the other hand fir systems are non recursive where fir means what this is what infinite right so here it will be what finite f means finite duration duration impulse response okay we'll see this both the systems in detail this there is a complete chapter about this